Hi, my friends. How about taking a virtual coffee break right now while I share a memory with you? Got your coffee? Okay, sit back and relax, because here we go. It was high school graduation. Recently, I was going through a box of old photos, and I found one that caused me to pause for a while. It was a photo of me at my high school graduation. I was on stage giving my valedictorian speech to my classmates, their family, and friends. Okay, okay, I am not trying to brag about my brilliance as the valedictorian. It was really about the content of the speech that I recalled so vividly. You see, I mean, it was a big moment for me. I was a small farm country girl giving an inspirational message to others about life and their years ahead. <laughs> I had not been more than 40 miles from my home for much of my life at that time. But as I reminisced in this moment while holding that photo, I it seems that I had a lot of wisdom to share about living, even though I had really lived very little. After a few short motivational words, I read a poem. The poem seemed to really say it all about living a life of authenticity and value. And as I read it again today, that message is still so relevant for all of us, even today. So please allow me to share this poem with you while you enjoy your coffee. I think you will enjoy the poem too, and maybe bring a lot of thinking to your mind about life. Here is the poem. Well, I want to say, first of all, that I embellished it just a little in the last line of the poem, and I'm sure you'll be able to see where I changed it. The poem is titled, If, by Rudyard Kipling. So if you can keep your head when all about you are losing theirs and blaming it on you, if you can trust yourself when all men doubt you, but make allowance for their doubting too. If you can wait and not be tired by waiting or being lied about, don't deal in lies. Or being hated, don't give way to hating and yet don't look too good nor talk too wise. If you can dream and not make dreams your master, if you can think and not make thoughts your aim, if you can meet with triumph and disaster and treat those two imposters just the same, If you can bear to hear the truth you've spoken, twisted by knaves to make a trap for fools, or watch the things you gave your life to broken, and stoop and build them up with worn out tools. If you can make one heap of all your winnings and risk it on one turn of pitch and toss and lose, and start again at your beginnings and never breathe a word about your loss. If you can force your heart and nerve and sinew to serve your turn long after they are gone and so hold on when there is nothing in you except the will which says to them, hold on. 
If you can talk with crowds and keep your virtue, or walk with kings, nor lose the common touch. If neither foes nor loving friends can hurt you, if all men count with you, but none too much. If you can fill the unforgiving minute with 60 seconds worth of distance run, yours is the earth and everything that's in it. And, which is more, you'll be a man, my son, and a woman, my daughter. Rudyard Kipling When we appreciate the things we are given and take a coffee break to reflect, we will see the gifts in life and others and celebrate the times we paused to reconnect. Patricia Leonard. Thanks for joining me on this coffee break. May we take time to do it again real soon. Have a fabulous day.